Whether your kids are off to college or onto their own homes, or you're just ready for less space to take care of, downsizing from a house to a condo can be scary. In this video, we'll give you some tips on how to successfully downsize from a house to a condo without going crazy. Condo Living 101 there are some obvious differences between houses and condos, and one of them is less space. While you might have had several bedrooms, bathrooms, a den, and an office in a house, you might only have one or two bedrooms and bathrooms in a condo. Your condo might offer you some storage space in the basement of your building or garage, for example, but certainly won't have the abundant space that many houses do. Here are some tips for downsizing and getting rid of some of that stuff. Purge before you move. Nothing is more annoying than packing and moving items to a new home to later realize you didn't want or need it. It's time and resources on your part to pack it and move it, so try to get rid of as much as possible before you move. It will save you time and money. Creative with storage. There are many different decorative storage solutions, including baskets, storage ottomans, beds with drawers built in, and organizational tools to maximize your storage. Rehome sentimental items. You might find that you have something that you can't bear to part with, but you don't have space for it, or it just doesn't work in your new home. Rehoming it with your kids, relatives, or friends who will love it as much as you do might be a lot easier for you to stomach than having to donate or sell it to a stranger. Digitize. CDs, DVDs, pictures, videos, and essential documents take up a lot of space. To keep these items but save yourself some space, consider digitizing them. Relevant documents can be scanned and saved to the cloud or on a computer hard drive. There are also different companies who offer digitizing services for your pictures and home videos. Now that you've purged, moved, and unpacked, here are some more tips. Mail and delivery drivers. Some condo communities might allow mail and package carriers to bring packages right to your door. Befriend them and the chances that your packages always make it to your door will grow. Manager or maintenance workers. If your building has a door person or a manager, making friends with them is a great idea. They might be more likely to sign for large packages and will generally look out for you. Run for office. Becoming a member of the HOA is much better than being in a disagreement with them. If there are things you don't like, run for a spot on the HOA and work to change things. Even if you don't run for office, attending meetings and voicing your concerns in a constructive manner can work in your favor too. Follow the rules. If you decide that running for a spot on the HOA isn't for you, you should still make yourself familiar with the rules and regulations of the HOA. Don't be that resident that is constantly breaking the rules and angering your neighbors. On the flip side, when your neighbors have done something against the rules, talk to them first. Chances are you can resolve the issue neighbor to neighbor. Don't let condo living and downsizing scare you away. Check out our site for Myrtle Beach condos for sale and start downsizing today. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.